sit down. Okay. Well, look what we have here. Oh. Things that sparkle in the night. Look Isn't this interesting? This. You know, oh, hi, oh, Linda hi. Dano here. <laughs> I'm oh, Kelly. Oh, no, I got fascinated with attitudes. this. You we see this? Can you see it, Manny? You got this on your camera? Do you see that? This is pooch jewelry, people jewelry. This it's is really, an earring. Yeah. Okay. Dog this bone is, jewelry. This is, we get lots of letters. And, and we love them all, and we read them all. And we got a letter from Gail Henry of Durango, Colorado, and she actually made jewelry out of these little, these are dog bones. This is oh, what this Chang one. and Chin Chin eat. Oh, this is a pin. Right, and I'm putting the earrings on. This is a pin. <laughs> are you? Yeah. You have it Look on? Look at that sparkling, yeah. The only That's problem on. with these are that in my house anyway, if this was sitting low enough on a table, Gone. Shang would have this wolf down. And that would be the end of your earring. You know what I mean? This is kind of fun, actually. She painted them gold, and she put little diamonds on them. Hey, Dale you know, Henry of Durango, Thank you, Gail. Colorado. That's very Thanks, fun, Gail. really. We like all this stuff. So write to us and send yes. us your ideas and things you're doing, and we'll put it on the air. That's how we found out about it. You wrote in. Great. Okay. Now, what else do we have today? More pooch stuff, I think. This is a pooch show. Yeah, there's a lady who actually took the she's a jewelry maker and she took the idea a step further and started to make jewelry real jewelry for dogs or any animal i suppose if you had a goat and you wanted to put a necklace on it you Absolutely. could do that i don't know <laughs> anyway she's here today and she's going to show us her kind of, hi her kind of jewelry and uh what else Oh, oh, oh boy! Dr. Dr. Miller is back. What What are you doing today? Now you have four of these. Now tell I me what this one is. I have four sessions with Dr. Miller, and today we're going to talk about metabolism, and exercise. You know, my favorite. <laughs> but we're going to talk more about what we we talked about yesterday, which is why we eat when we really shouldn't, and and how we can stop dieting. Okay, so mm. that'll be interesting. That's important. Yeah. You ever look in the magazine and you see all these fabulous clothes? Well, you, you're great with this, but I look in magazines and I say to myself, oh, wow, that's so pretty, but my gosh, you look at the price yeah, and it's yeah, $8,000 for yeah. a pair of slacks, yeah, you know? Yeah, well, we're going to do designer lookalikes today. You're going to oh. look like designer for a lot less money. Oh, we've done this before, and this is always great. Yeah. yeah this is oh, great. that'll be okay. fun. You want to meet our first guest, everybody? Yeah. They're nice. Nice people. Nice people. They are one of those Hollywood couples who work together, play together, and actually enjoy doing all of it. While they've been happily married for years, their on-camera relationship is anything, and believe me, anything but blissful. <laughs> you know them from L.A. Law, where he plays the uptight Douglas Brackman, and she, his troubled ex-wife, Sheila. Take a look. You want to come in? I don't think so. Boy. If this is what we wanted, how come we're both so glum? We slept in the same bed together for nearly our entire adult lives. I know. It's hard to imagine that it's all come to an end. It hasn't really. No. We have kids. That'll give us something to fight about for years. You're right. <laughs> I like that. Please welcome Joanna Frank and Alan Rachel. Great to have you both. Hello. 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 Welcome. Come right around here. Okay. Joanna, you sit next to me. Alan, if you would sit there. Welcome. welcome. Thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what a nice, nice scene yeah. that was. It, it is. Oh, we like that scene. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you did. I bet you did. What did it yeah. feel like doing that? Well, for me, it was the first time this character has been sweet. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. And it's human true. Yeah. on this show. Yeah, it was nice not to be screaming at each other for a change. Did you ever think about what that would truly be like when you were saying those lines? If you had really split up? Oh. Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh. Have you ever come close to that in your own life? Do you have anything to draw on no. when you work? You are, because you're happily <laughs> married, thank God. No, yeah. but I'll tell you, we, we also did a film where we played husband and wife, and Alan's character had um, a fling uh. with another woman. Uh. And as professional as I consider myself, I was sitting in the other room hysterical. Could not look at this woman again. Like it really Hated happened. Hated her. Yeah. 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 It's the one thing I can't... Yeah. I, I, I've always said that, too, because I'm not married to an actor, thank God, because I don't know 
how you do that. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm that generous to do it. I really don't. That's hard. That's hard stuff. It's yeah. your job. I know, <laughs> but it's still hard. It's mm -hmm. very difficult. You guys, I guess I want to say congratulations to you both because I know as an actor, you have had that, that long road of struggling and working and not working, both of you. And suddenly, here you are in a big hit. And your hits. It's so wonderful. <laughs> and you're both so nice, what makes it even more wonderful. Has the struggle been worth it, do you think? I, I just talked about that at my um, college reunion. I went down this past weekend in Philadelphia, and uh, I gave kind of a speech about the, uh, the whole odyssey and how long it's been yeah. and how difficult it's been. And uh, I can't really just measure it in those terms. I was compelled to do this. I had no choice. And while I had other uh, options that would have been a lot easier, they just wouldn't have been near as satisfying for me. This was the road that I had to uh, take. Yeah. And I think this is true of most actors yeah. who hang in there. You really don't have a choice. I and mean, it's not an intellectual decision because you wouldn't make this decision, you know? No, because it's crazy, really. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. And you yeah. try to do other things, but nothing else really uh, is gloms essential. on to you. Yeah. And this seems like, I just have to do this. Yeah. Where did you two meet? Yeah. In an acting class. Did you? Yeah. Did it, was it love at first sight? For me. <laughs> what? And not him? No, he had a completely different experience. I had this very strange experience about a year before I met him. I had broken up with someone I was involved with. I was sure that I was going to spend the rest of my life alone with really? my cats, and I would go to bed at night and I'd cry. And I had a friend who came over to the house and I was complaining to her because I couldn't date, I couldn't do this single scene, I couldn't do all that stuff, you know. And I said, what's going to happen to me? And she said, well, let's play a little game. Close your eyes and tell me what you see. So I closed my eyes. She must have asked me some lead-in question that I don't remember. And I saw this man in a beige three-piece suit with a briefcase like the ones we used to carry to school right. years ago. Uh, he had a certain kind of shoe on. I knew it was in his bank account. I knew everything about this guy except his face. And a year later, I walked into this acting class, and he was there in the three-piece suit, the briefcase, the shoes, the works, and the face. And I thought, this is it. This is the guy. I'm going to marry him. And what did you think, Alan? Well, it was a little... <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I say hello first uh, before we get married? <laughs> <laughs> Women are like that, yeah, I aren't put they? Put the briefcase down and said, um, "I had just broken up with someone, and I was not ready to just uh, jump into something again. Uh, I just needed a little time first. And um, <laughs> uh, it turned out just some time evolved because I had some business in Boston that I had to take care of, and when I came back from Boston, there were these a cappella singing messages <laughs> on my answering machine. Truly." The aggressive shot. Joanna. You know, aggressive. Know but you know what oh, happened? You know, I'm not aggressive at all. And I went over to the woman who brought him into this class, who knew him. I said, I don't know what to do, but I just, I have to meet this man. What, you know, Shoot. will you introduce me? And she said, don't be silly. She said, just go up to him and say, look, are we or aren't we? And I said, I can't do that. Yeah. And she said, well, then don't bother me. I mean, she didn't want anything to do with it. So I was kind of thrown into this yeah. position of having to be assertive, yeah. which I had never been. And so I did say to him, um, I'm very attracted to you, and would you like to have a cup of coffee? What a great <laughs> idea. Oh, what a great idea. It paid off, didn't it? You were too. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Boston. Yes. Is that where you're from? You're, you I'm from Brookline, which is a suburb right outside oh, of Oh, it's pretty there. Yeah. And your parents, were they pleased with your going into acting? Because college was not acting at school <laughs> at first. No, you? no, it was the Wharton School of Finance. And uh, there was a family business. And uh, that's what my father uh, wanted me to do. So he was, uh, I don't want to say distraught, but he was very disappointed when I uh, yeah. left that school to go to New York to, for acting. Took it's, a lot of courage. It's, it's really tough. I, you guys have trouble, or do you just love the scenes where you get to fight on camera? Is it hard for you at all? Um, no. In the beginning, <laughs> it, it was hard for me yeah. because that character is so different than who I think I am, yeah. and I thought, I'll never be able to play it. But once I saw that it came easy, yeah, great. <laughs> do you ever have a fight at home 
and then have to go to work together is that hard no that's never really happened like